Looking at America's obsession with beauty, we're back with supermodels Frederic and Carrie Otis, psychotherapist and author Donald LeBlanc, and the managing director and co-founder of the new website beautifulpeople.net, Greg Hodge and Robert Hintz. Carrie, when you, when you talk to young girls today, young 17-year-old girls just getting into the modeling business, what do you say to them? When I'm speaking with young girls, we really work to, to dialogue and to begin to take responsibility for what it is we're watching, what it is we're, you know, infiltrating ourselves with, whether it's magazines, media, and really begin to understand what, you know, what's being depicted in the media is selected and it is really the minority. It's not the majority and it's a not a fair, you know, representation of women, of humans. Okay, Frederic, along those lines, let, let me ask you a question. You, you see those Victoria's Secret runway things. And let's say you have a, an 11 year old niece, okay? And she's doesn't look like an 11 year old version of that and she's got maybe a little bit chubby legs and maybe she's got a little red frizzy hair and she says you know aunt frederick you know i'm not pretty what's wrong with me what do you well, say to her well I, that's the message we're sending out to kids today we no we try to i mean today the message is sent out but i try to always say when i talk to young people that the industry you look at is as carrie said so appropriate it's very selective and when I see a young girl, especially when they're 11, 12, that's an age when you go and change a lot. If you are fuller, that can be beautiful. It's not about, you know, if you, in the, in the fashion industry, it also changes a lot. It goes from a certain look, it goes fuller, it goes thinner. Yeah. I think it has to be, I mean, it's important well, I guess to tell that's a girl. Those, but even grown women, I, the women yeah. that I know, friends of mine, yeah. the ones that have big boobs want reductions. The ones that are flat chested yeah. want implants. It, well, it, it, all, it, all, it all starts, thing. I mean, Donna the says most, it yeah. all starts with the, liking yourself. The and, most and, important thing and is to get out of position of where you're constantly comparing, comparing yourself to exactly. an outer image. So yeah. if you have how can you mental, do that wait, without if you have mental to the health, if you have mental health, I would say do not watch too much television that creates that or do the website that that magazines that do that. Do that. How can you do that? How can you shut your eyes to society? I think it is very important to to, when you talk to kids, is especially starting, you know, you should find out what your passion is. Who are you as a person? What do exactly. you like? Don't compare. If you look at a cover of a magazine, you know, I can tell you that half of it is already airbrushed. They have Absolutely. professional hair and makeup people, the styling. You know, they never look. Even here on TV, we got sprayed with stuff. Yeah. You oh, have oh, that. Barry, I want to ask you like, how you react to this. I had an unfortunate experience years ago. I was involved in the launch of Lear's magazine. Uh, the late Frances Lear, a wonderful woman, launched the magazine for women over 40. It was called for the women, the, the woman who wasn't born yesterday. And it was a failure because women, and the ads were all with women, they were all beautiful. Women over 40, the editorial was, but women over 40 didn't want to see pictures of women over 40, even if they were beautiful. They didn't want to read editorial. Well, and I, I, even, even the women who complain about this didn't want to deal with it, they just wanted the ideal. But you have more now. There's a magazine which is out, it's more, it's over 40 and it is successful. So that's And more is doing great. There's yeah. other magazines that yeah. are out there that is are more, doing really Is more seen as a high fashion, this was a fa like the first kind of high fashion, you know, high gloss magazine. It wasn't like a lifestyle. Uh, when it was this, Donnie? This was, um, I would say, early 90s. Yeah, well, I mean, hopefully things also. are changing a little bit and I think women are becoming much more outspoken and certainly there's an awareness that is increasing, but it's not to say that we don't have a long ways to go. We do. There's, you know, it's very serious. But and it's more relatable the whole eating now. disorder think, issue yeah. is so deeply connected to this. How, how many women and how many men w wake up in the morning, especially women, thinking about what they're going to eat? Is their body mm -hmm. looking perfect enough? How are they looking today? Well, what are they doing to today? America, and feeling completely depressed. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's not such a yeah. bad thing that we're actually thinking about what we're eating, what we're putting in our bodies well, now. This springing up of yeah. health stuff is I, brilliant I for us. Yeah, yeah but if you're consumed by it, then this is this is a problem. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure that's for one second. Guys, because we have coming up a little segment. There's a new campaign that's getting a lot of attention called for Dove campaign that has real women in it. But I guess the irony for me of the whole thing. They're <laughs> yeah, but you know what? They're still beautiful. They're not perfect. And guess what? The ads are about putting cream on your hips so you can reduce, so you can change yeah. yourself. 
So that's, no, that's, so that's the kind of the ridiculous art. Look how beautiful you are. Look how perfect you are. We celebrate you. Now change. But don't you think, though, in a way, I, I agree with that, and it is obviously a smart move what they did. It's but actually a very smart campaign. I yeah, agree with you. Yeah, very much so. But isn't it advertising who should start changing the ideas? Like if you put suddenly, like the older woman who's fantastic, all wrinkled up, or you look at a Lillian Hellman or whatever, that where you like. Sell. Who's going to do that? I mean, of course it sells. If you sell, if I'll, you I'll put actually like to pick up what you just said there about real people because that's what beautiful people is all about is real people on real the side oh, who are you kidding but they're real are you kidding who are you kidding all right guys <laughs> we gotta wrap it the site make up your own mind is beautifulpeople.net not beautiful people need to apply correct you scums <laughs> that's basically the bottom line you know? okay all right guys we gotta wrap i want to thank my guest greg hodge robert hinz carrie otis and donald leblanc